Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to talk through the process of how I've completed this koala and all of the leaves and bush around it. And there is a real-time explanation of how I've completed the leaves. At the end, I'll show you how I have used these fence palings to make a really beautiful frame for this piece as well. In the description below, I'll put a list of the paper pencils, including the colour list I've used below. If you want to check out my progress photos and see what I have for sale, you can check me out on Insta and Etsy. And if you like this video, remember to like and subscribe. So let's get started. So for this one, I knew that the most tedious part with this whole piece was going to be doing the leaves and the foliage. So this is where I wanted to start. Also because I am right handed, so I wanted to start from the left and move over to the right. I have done leaves in the past and it was a hot mess so I was really nervous coming into this piece and getting all the leaves in but I feel like I have improved since then so I feel like it came together quite nicely. So the way to tackle this I would recommend is just to pick one leaf at a time and then start to shade and blend that and then go in between each of the leaves and start to add in little sections. So if you think of the piece as shapes and sections, it's easier rather than if you just go in and shade down a base layer over everything, you will get lost and not see where things are. So I do recommend just breaking it down, doing a couple of the big leaves and the main ones that you can see, and then you can start to piece together and puzzle in all of the background sections and the darker sections and make it all come together. I'm not going to talk too much about the layering process because we do a leaf in real time in a couple of minutes, but I do just recommend going through adding different sections and building it up piece by piece. Then when you have quite a large section in like I do now, you can look back and sort of see the values and where you need to go darker and lighter in different sections. So after doing a bunch of the leaves and the background, I knew that I wanted to start on the koala just to change it up a little bit. So I started with the eyes and adding them in, making sure to have a really sharp point because these eyes are so small. So because the eyes are quite brown in color, I used the Bistar to go really lightly around the outline and then filled it in a little bit with the dark sepia. In the middle I used the base of the warm grey one, then the light yellow glaze in the yellow areas, green gold and burnt ochre in the orange sections. I also used the soft white Holbein pencil to blend everything down and then go back in with all of the same colours again and start to darken it up. So usually I'll do one at a time and then move on to the fur around the face but for this one because the eyes are so small I just went in and put them in at the same time. So for the fur on the face and in the ear I went in with the base of the warm grey one and then where I could see where the darker sections were I used the warm grey one with a really sharp point to start to etch out some of those areas. Then went in with the warm grey three and did the same sort of thing so put down some fur lines in the sections that are a little bit darker and then I started to work in some of the Payne's grey and the dark sepia and also where I can see colour underneath the fur so you can see a lot of sort of browns, oranges, yellows underneath the fur. I glaze down, so when I say glaze I mean putting my pencil on the side, really lightly glazing down over the fur the colours that I can see. There was also a bit of beige red which is the pinky colour and then start to build up the colours. So this sort of fur does take a really long time to build up so you just need to be patient with it. Do really light layers, really sharp pencils and just build up all the colours over time. So you can see I was a little bit daunted by the fur so I just stuck to the left hand side to do all of the foliage. So I think the hardest texture of this whole thing was doing the fur. So to start with I used the warm grey one and then like I said before building in darker sections with the warm grey one where they were darker and then building up to the warm grey three. I also used the warm grey four, Payne's grey and dark sepia and then where I can see colours underneath the fur I would glaze that in. So when you're putting in the fur strokes with Payne's grey and the dark sepia and the warm grey four 
You don't want to do sort of straight long fur lines otherwise it will look like long fur. With this sort of fuzzy thick sort of texture you need to just build it up really gradually using sort of little squiggles. So when you're moving your pencil you sort of want to clump little bits of fur together but leave gaps in between the fur next to it as well. So in a way you're sort of doing little squiggles and little clumps of fur. Making sure that you have a lot of layers of the warm grey one, three, four, Payne's grey and the dark sepia and then glazing over the colours underneath all of that will make it look a lot thicker. So you don't just want to go in with one layer of all of these, you need to build it up really gradually and once you put all of these colors in then you would sort of glaze over with the warm gray three and warm it all up a little bit and then go in with the dark sepia Payne's gray warm gray four again then put down a little bit more color that you can see underneath so the yellows oranges even some green colors in some of the fur that's reflecting off the plants and then build up again with the dark sepia Payne's gray until you get the color that you need so it does take a little while and once you have everything in you can step back Back and see where you need to evaluate the colors. I did have to go in and darken up a lot of the gray sections especially on the face and on the body to make it sort of all look the same because if the deepness in the fur doesn't match the deepness in the branch then it will not come together and not be as a cohesive piece. So this is the final result and this is the frame that I've completed for my koala. I really hope that you like this piece. Please give me a like and subscribe. Leave me a comment below and keep drawing guys. Bye. I won't be coming down. Could somebody wake me up? I don't want to be here and let the world pass me by. Yeah. I just see her face where ever I look, she's standing in the crowd. Sick of waiting and getting too restless to be in this dusty town. I've heard of this place where.